everyone in this video I'm going to check out the MJX Hypergo 14209 and it's an off-road car this is the first one I've ever pre-ordered um, just seeing the renders it comes with two types of wheels and also there's some set of extra springs and it looks so good I had to pre-order it so let's see if it holds up to the expectations so when we look at the box, we are promised lots of action. It says all the right words, MJX, Hypergo, four wheel drive, brushless drive, it's 114, 4x4, with LEDs, we have a brushless ESC, we have the brushless motor, we have a powerful servo. So let's see if all those promises are holding up. Oh yeah, we are not finished. I mean, there are metal parts, we have oil dampers and metal CVDs, you know, this thing, is promising a lot and knowing MJX I think we will not be disappointed so the box is actually packed quite nice and as always we check out the car later and there we have the remote it's good for one-handed steering and fully proportional we have throttle trim we have steering trim and I still like that it only needs two AA batteries. Plus it feels very good in my hand. And then you get your charger and the tools that you need. Plus an extra set of springs, we'll try them out as well. Please always read the manual of course. And as I said, it comes with an extra set of tires. Oh yeah, did I mention that we get all of this for about $140? It looks beautiful and it kind of looks familiar. know what's that with the angry snail but I think it's kind of funny MJX going for a little bit more realistic design and the spare tire on the back is actually functioning it's also got working headlights and an LED roof bar which we will all try out later gearing inside is all metal which is audible now let's have a look under the hood Tires feel alright and not too hard. Oil feels shocks, but the springs feel a little bit soft. Maybe that would change when we use the other ones. There we have our metal CVDs in the back as well as in the front. The tires are adjustable. The 2S LiPo battery is connected through a Deans or T plug. And there's our servo and the ESC with a fan on top, also the motor with a fan on top and an aluminium rod for stabilization. The 2S LiPo is held in place by two Velcro straps. And with 3000 milliamp hours we actually get a lot of runtime with this thing. Underneath, it's very well manufactured. It is metal, which can bend, but also it doesn't cost much to replace it. I think it's like 11 or 12 euros. All right, now let's take it outside. just started and is already getting chased by dogs.
Green Soul Sharks give lots of weight, but it also makes those jumps look more realistic. The chassis is getting lots of slabs, but it seems to be taking it quite well. Alright, let's put those bigger tires on it and get on with the montage. They are bigger, but it still looks realistic. With the bigger tires it's also a bit faster, now we will put in some 3S and see what happens. We'll be using this Zlop Power battery. Well, I gotta say, it's already very fast on 2S, with 3S even more, and it has taken a few hits, but all in all, it looks alright. A new body is already on its way, because, let's be honest, this thing will break eventually. Not sure whether it will survive at the skate park, and since it will cost me lots of money to try, I will not want to. So this is before with the pre-installed springs. So the black ones are the springs that were pre-installed and the silver ones are the one that came as a spare. And the silver ones seem a bit stiffer. Now let's test them outside. With these stiffer springs, it does provide a better shock absorption. And I guess I keep them attached because it always pains me a little bit to see when it slaps on the ground. I hope you liked the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and thank you for watching.